to my channel so for today's video it's going to be a Black Friday video I've got lots and lots of Black Friday videos in the lead up to Black Friday itself we're going to have hauls we're going to have um, limited edition beauty boxes we've got um, gift sets that are on offer that I'm going to be testing out um, so if you didn't see my video which would have gone up yesterday I showed you a massive haul I did from Revolution, so the, a lot of their gift sets are half price. I'll pop that down in the description should you want to go and check out what's on offer. And then what I'm doing going forward is I'm going to be testing out all of the products. So today we are testing out one of the gift sets and I'm going to unbox it fully for you because I didn't do that in the last video. I just gave you a brief um, look at it so we'll be looking at it in more depth but it is this, this one here and it is massive and it is heavy so this was originally £60 and to be honest with you it is probably worth that it is probably worth the £60 mark it's actually 30 at the minute on the Revolution website I will link it down in the description but I will dive on in and show you what's inside we've got everything from brushes lip glosses we've got eyeliners we've got two palettes we've got a face palette we've got a highlighter setting spray it's like anything that you would need for a face except for foundation is in here hence why i've got a naked face because we will be trying these on and i can't get it out of the packet okay so the box is really really beautiful it's going to be a great keepsake box i probably will keep this and store some products in it I might even use this as like my new in drawer or box so all the products that I've got to try on my channel I might keep in here so this is XX Revolution which is the new brand to the Revolution umbrella if you're not aware there's like normal Revolution we've got um I Heart Revolution which is more of a I think it's more aimed at like younger children not children but like younger teenagers and things like that but I like it and I'm 38 so you know it doesn't really matter but that one's a bit more fun so you've got fruit shaped things you've got food themes you've got animal themes it's all just a little bit more fun revolution is like the basic bread and butter you've got revolution pro which is the higher end version and then you've got xx revolution which kind of slots in above revolution pro as being as close to high end as you can get without being high end. I'd probably say that Revol uh, XX Revolution would be like NYX level, which I would consider NYX to be a bit above like normal drugstore. So yeah, that was a waffle and a half. So it comes in this gorgeous box. You have products in the top. There's a drawer in the bottom and that has more products in it as well. So yeah, definitely great for like storing things afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unbox all this and show you what we have and then we will put it on my face. So we have a lot of um, wormies which is great actually, it's better than having a load of plastic so I'm glad they've wrapped it in something sustainable. Another thing that I would say about Revolution which is amazing and it's the only brand I'm aware of that does it at the moment they wrap all their products in like a special paper instead of bubble wrap and I've never had a product break it does seem to be working and they can go straight in the recycling and it's so much better for the environment it's like a brown paper um it's kind of shredded a bit but yeah it really does work so yeah I'm pleased again that they are you know using the sustainable route with the packaging and obviously they've made this into a keepsake box so this can be kept and I think the inserts yeah the inserts lift out so there's like an insert here in the top which you can dispose of um it's just thin cardboard and then the the actual box is hard cardboard that you can keep so yeah they're doing really well on the recycling and sustainability front at the minute um, but first up we have three brushes so it's three eye brushes um they are quite big i would say that they're quite big for the eyes this one might be good as a concealer buffer even though it's quite flat it's bushy 
But yeah, there's three brushes to start with. So next up we have this palette and it's a silver kind of glittery front. These are a lot bigger than the um, Revolution Pro square ones. Oh, it's nine pan, that's why. This looks stunning. It reminds me of a Huda palette there. It's really, really pretty. So the normal Revolution Pro square ones, just for size comparison. So it's a lot bigger. And yeah, I don't know whether to use this today or use the other one. We haven't looked at the other one yet, but this one is absolutely beautiful. I am tempted to use that one. We then have this palette and this is velvet which is very much like um, the early Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. They were all that material. And the shades in here are beautiful. Um, I do have one gripe, and that is that the shade names are on the plastic, which, yeah, I'm not keen on that, because I just chuck the plastic away, so then I've not got shade names. But to be fair, the only reason I need shade names is to sort of, if I'm doing a look, go, I'm using shade luminous now kind of thing so I mean it's probably not that important to most people not knowing what the shades are called but yeah it's not it's not the best when it's supposed to be an expensive gift set and it has got a really nice mirror on it still in the top we've got three eyeliners and these are gorgeous these have got a metal packaging so they just look like that quite sophisticated they are square which is strange and they are a, like a retractable crayon these are very much like the beauty bay ones that i picked up the other day they feel similar in application easy to work with the black one in particular was very soft so those are those there so they were really really nice and then we've got a couple of lip glosses two lip glosses in zero focus and sundown I'll give them these a swatch as well and I didn't think I'd like the orange it's not my cup of tea but it is stunning and I think over another shade it would look incredible so those are the shades I feel like you could use them on their own or you could use them as toppers and then we're not finished we've got this drawer underneath and in this little drawer we have a makeup bag and this puffs out bigger than what it looks so it puffs out like this, which is actually a really nice size. You can fit quite a few brushes, enough for a weekend away in there. Um, so that's that. We have a highlighter, which does look a little dark, if I'm honest. This is Excess Lustre. It does look a bit too dark for me. I feel like this is going to leave a cast. But that's it there. I think that would work for a medium skin tone, if I'm honest, or maybe even... A bit darker than that it's a bit dark for pale skin like me then we have a mirror which is in a little carry case we got one of these in um, in birch bark this one's a bit marked actually which isn't good if you can see it's got a mark there but other than that it's okay, I'm not that I'm not a massive fan of mirrors if I'm honest because for a start we're all stuck at home. I don't go anywhere. There is like a really good mirror. So I don't need a pocket mirror. But for second, you get them so much at this time of year, you end up with like seven in one go. We then have a Equinox Mist, which has gold glitter. I'll just give it a shake so you can see. It's actually quite um, sparing on the glitter, so that should look nice without being over the top. Finally, we have a complexion palette. 
Again, this is quite dark. I think I'll get away with the blusher. I'm not sure about the other shades. It looks lighter on camera than it does in, in the lighting in here. Um, let's just try these. I'll swatch them. I think the blush is a kind of shade that I would normally use. It's kind of almost like a bronzy blush. I think that one would be fine. Oh, that highlight is much better for my complexion, actually. And the bronze is a bit dark for me, if I'm honest. And a bit orange. That's the bronzer. It's very orange. So, yeah. That is that. So, that is everything in the gift set. So, you get two eyeshadow palettes, three brushes, two lip glosses, three eyeliners, a setting spray, a highlighter, a face palette, a mirror and a makeup bag. So let's crack on and get some of this on my face and test it all out. I feel like I might save this one for another video because it's quite a big palette. That way I can do full swatches and test this out separately. I think we're going to go in with this palette today because when I opened it, it just screamed at me that it was a bit of me and a palette. I love purples and pinks, so I definitely think this is something that I could really work with. So we're going to go with this palette to start with. So I'm just going to do something really, really simple because we've got a whole face to get through and I don't want you to have to watch me for 16 hours. So... I've already got my um, eyeshadow base on, so I'm just going to go in with the transition shade and I'm going to go in with this one here, which is kind of like a fawny colour. And I'm just sweeping that very lightly above my crease. And either this brush is not very good. What brush is this? Oh, it's a Morphe brush. I'm not keen on them. I feel like this is patchy. Let's try a different brush. It's definitely going on patchy, but I think I've lost all my decent brushes. Um, this is better. We like this brush. We'll not mention where it came from. <laughs> so I've just done a quick sweep across my eye. Really nothing special one shade and now i'm just going to go in with some revolution cut crease canvas and just cut my crease now i'm just going to take a small brush and i'm going to start in with my first lid shade which i'm going to go in with this white in the inner corner and just use that on the first third of my lid. This is just a really basic look today. So I've done the first portion, portion of my eye with that white. Next, we're going to go in with this purple at the bottom, which again is a shimmer shade. I'm just going to put that on the middle third. And I'm literally just going to draw it next to it and then we'll blend out in a moment. This is actually a stunning shade. It's not anything special in the way that it is just a metallic lilac colour. It's not like duo-chromed or, you know, multi-chromed or anything like that. But it is just very pretty for what it is, if that makes sense. So it's a very pretty sort of plainish colour. And I'm just going to use this clean brush just to wipe over the join between the two shades. Just to blend it out ever so slightly without losing. I don't want them, the two colours to sort of blend in together if that makes sense. I want them to be separate. But so far I am impressed. Really, really happy. So I'm just going to find a clean brush now to do the outer corner. And for the outer corner... We're going to go in with this shade here, which is a beautiful sort of duochrome shade. I'd say it was like a 
a fawny browny shade with purple glitter in it. So I figure it's going to tie everything in. It's one of those shades that you don't want to scrape. Um, I felt like nothing was coming out and then I scraped it. And then it went all like chunky. <laughs> so don't scrape it, whatever you do. And again, I'm just going to blend the two together. I'm just going to go in with the brush I used for the purple and lightly go over the top of that shade just to blend the two together. And then I'll do the same back over with this. I want to call it brown, but it's not quite brown. I'm just going to do something. What am I going to do? I'm going to find a small brush. Yeah, that one's a nice small one. So this is actually a Beauty Bay brush and it's called the On Point brush. So I guess it's a liner brush. It doesn't really matter what it is. I just needed a small brush. I'm just going to take some of this transition shade that I used originally. And I'm just going to draw around my cut crease. I like to do this to give it definition. So I'm literally just going to draw a line around the edge. Generally speaking, it makes it because you've blended out that um, transition shade. I'm not going to take this all the way to the outer corner. I'm going to stop where the purple stops. So I just feel that looks slightly better. And that's how we have it now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stick some foundation on. And then we'll try some of the other products in the collection. Okay, so I've done my foundation and my powder and I've caught up my eyes to the same place as one another. Um, just to save a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish off my eyes, finish off my face with all the products in the box and then we'll be done. So I'm just going with eyeliner. And I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just going to draw a straight line. Then we've got mascara, I'm just using an Ico one. This is the Lash Alert by Ico. And I got this in a beauty box. It was gifted to me, the beauty box. And to be honest with you, I can't remember if it was Look Fantastic or Glossy Box. But it was one of them. I think it might have been look fantastic. But I love this one. So much so that I've picked up one since. Or maybe two since. Okay, so I've done my lashes and my liner. And please excuse the lashes when I did them. I don't think I realised how dramatic they were. To me they looked quite came and then they went on my eyes and I was like could you get longer <laughs> so yeah that was an accident but you know it did all right so I am just doing my under eye and I'm just putting the white at the very very inner corner on both eyes and then I'm going to follow it up in the order that I've done on my eyelids so I'm going to put purple next And then I'm going to go in with that brown, sort of purple shifty colour in the outer corner. Okay, dokie. So now we're going to try some of the other products in this kit. I'm going to go in with this purple eye crayon in my waterline. So next we're going to take the face palette and we're going to have a go with this. I'm not sure about the bronzer, um, but... It's definitely not a contour shade, so I'm going to go in with a contour first. I'm just going in with a contour from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. Just because I need a cool contour. And then we're going to go in with the blush from the XX Revolution. I quite like that, that's quite pretty. And then we're going to take this highlight, try that. Oh, that's nice. I like that. 
think that's not leaving as much of a cast as I thought it would. I thought it would leave a worse cast than it has. There is a slight cast because it is slightly dark for me, but not too bad. And then we're going to go in, do we dare? We are going to go in with this bronzer, but we're going to go in very, very lightly. <laughs> I'm not. So I'm going to dip my brush in and I'm going to tap it off, get rid of it in every way possible because yeah, look at that. I am filming videos after this and I'm going to have to do it with bright orange forehead. Yeah, that is way too dark and too orange and yeah. So if I didn't want a heavy face makeup, tough because I've got one. <laughs> um, was there anything else to try? Well, there was the other highlighter, but that is like going to be too dark for me. Um, shall we stick some lip gloss on? I'm going to use this pinkish one over the top of the lip I've got on. The lip I've got on is a MAC one. Um, I can't think what it's called right now. But it is a pinky nude. It's not my usual one. My usual one is Blankety, but Blankety is in my handbag. I really like that combination. Um, let me find the lipstick. Here it is. It is Modesty. So we've got the lipstick from MAC in Modesty. Which is like a darker pinky nude. We have the XX Revolution Gloss in the shade Zero Focus, which is like a pinky metallic shade. And then the liner I used is just a cheap Revolution one. This is in the shade Chauffeur. I need to get another pinky nude. This one's a bit orange for the rest of it, but it's just what I had to hand and I'm quite, quite... Um, you know, I'm not that bothered, to be fair, about uh, lip liners. I'll just use whatever's nearest at the time. Um, so, yeah, I think we're done. Just put a little bit more bronzer up, right up here because, for some reason, I've missed that bit. I don't know why I want to be more orange, but I don't want a gap of white bit at the top. Okay, so we're done. Um, what do I think? So, I love the eyeshadow palette. Really, really nice. The eyeliner went on lovely on my waterline, so I love that as well. The blusher was nice. The highlight in the palette, so this palette here, the blusher was nice, the highlighter was nice. It's just not my shade of um, bronzer, as you can see. It's very orange. It's very um, dark. On somebody else, it wouldn't look necessarily orange or dark. It would just tie in with their skin tone. But because I'm quite a... Um, I'd say neutral to cool toned so things look really obvious on me if they are, they are warm and um, I always seem to go for a cooler toned bronzer and they work best for me so there's that there's the fact it was a bit dark it's not really the greatest thing to have in a gift set because it's one colour and one colour does not suit all when it comes to that but the other two items I worked with the bronzer the blusher I feel could be a lot darker as in you can build it up so that is more universal and the highlighter worked for me but would it work for somebody else but saying that I'd say the other highlighter is way too dark for me would be suited to a medium skin tone probably so yeah but everything else that I've tried today I have loved and we've still got this palette so what I'm going to do is I'll do a separate video on this palette. I couldn't really get two palettes on my face in one go, it wasn't going to happen. So we'll do a separate video for that but for now I hope you did enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it please give me a thumbs up, please consider subscribing, I have lots more Black Friday stuff on the way and I hope to see you in a video again soon. Bye!